Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat on a cage. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. Flint hook. We're gonna fight Baron Von Goo. I didn't even look at what that was. That's how twisted I am. Let's get started. I know we can buy stuff from the place where we can buy things. It's called, it's a market with some sort of hue or color associated with, with it. I can't remember. But for now, we have to focus. We have to refocus. We were actually at times doing not garbage on yesterday's run. Remember there was like two videos in a row where I made it to the boss fight? That feels like it's like stuck out of time. Like those videos are from an alternate universe at this point. I'm gonna keep rolling, I mean in case this isn't abundantly clear. From the fact that, you know, I'm already in the episode. I'm not changing up my perks at this point. I believe in myself. I also believe that I can use our strife to better ourselves. In spite of the fact that I've had a bit of a rough day on the recording side, I'm not asking for your pity. All I'm asking for you to do is like the video if you enjoyed it. And... Click subscribe if you want to see more in the future. That's I am a benevolent content creator, and all I ask is that Flint Hook slightly raises the s amount of time you get invincibility frames after you take damage, p particularly from environmental hazards such as spikes and other such things. Some US Americans don't even have maps. Miss Teen, South Carolina, 2006. Okay. Good work. Okay, you gotta go. If you want to know what we have to do, you should pretend that you just messed with Undercover Brothers Fro. Because if you mess with the Fro, you gotta go. That's what Eddie Griffin told me in the year 2002, and I've been living with that advice every single day since then. Good work, team. Okay, so what did we learn from our last episode? You know, it's only a catastrophic loss if I don't take anything away from it. And the big thing I took away is... A, I mean, a little bit of tears. I made a good joke about Mar, and I believe that's like Spanish for sea or salt or something. I can't remember. That was pretty good. I had a good time with that. Oh, don't touch that, though. Ah, oh, don't touch that. It's a freaking... It's Fugu, dog. It's bad for you. He's done it. Flint Hook, I thought we had a deal. You'd spawn a lot of enemies, but you would never spawn an enemy that actually knows where I am and how to shoot me. Instead, you would just spawn enemies that shoot in the general direction where I have been. And then as a result, we had an uneasy truce going on. You know, honestly, I probably should have been hit there, so... Can't complain as much as I would like. It's not a double apple, it's a single apple. That's fine, though. 140 HP is not bad, but again, you can't fall into the trap of being like, this is okay, because it's not okay. I would like sub-weapon here. Gain more XP, but the rate of your firepower is slower. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, what can I say? I whiffed on the... Uh, on the gambling payout, because I was going for something specific instead of... something... important. Which would have just been not getting a curse. I mean, we are getting more experience, but a slower rate of fire does strike me as the sort of thing we're not gonna be happy to see. See, this room is extremely well designed. This is a fun room to be a part of. It might be nasty on the way back. But this game, or this room, completely takes advantage of the flint hook mechanic. I like that room. Tribute games, if you're still watching these, they're off sequence with each other. Um, I like that room. That's a high quality room. I don't give every room my seal of approval. This room, eh, it's just okay. You know, 
I wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating crackers, but it's not the best room I've ever seen in my life, you know? Okay, at some point we gotta not get hit four times against the same boss we fought since we were born on this planet. But we aren't, we aren't in a catastrophic position, we, especially because we got two apples back there. We're at 145, this will take us to 155. And then we'll be at 165 when we get on our next uh, ship. That's not that bad. We can live with that. I really, all I want to do, and let me know if you're with me on this one. If anyone on Earth, especially a popular adult contemporary recording artist, has ever had these thoughts, I want to know. All I want to do is have some fun, and I got a feeling I'm not the only one. This is weirdly specific, but all I want to do is have some fun. Until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but... No, all I actually want to do is get to the boss fight with nearly full HP. In the same way that a relatively good performance that's semi-consistent but occasionally garbage can completely be overshadowed uh, by, you know, one particularly heinous room, i.e half of my flint hook videos um one pretty bad run can completely be solved or at least redeemed by one really good boss fight now i'd rather play perfectly all the time don't get me wrong you know i think that's a good thing to aspire to please don't drop anything on me thank you i do think that's a good thing to aspire to Realistic? Not yet. Perhaps one day we'll we'll enter that point. This guy's got to go first. There's a there's an order of things, okay? Those guys go first. We got a key. I will take this key. We're up to 175 HP as well. 175 is a good place to be. I don't like rooms with traps. Let's work around that. That's gonna hurt. We gotta, yeah, see? We gotta get up here. You know what? Just take it, we get the expression, uh, pound of cure is worth an ounce of prevention. That's where we're sitting right now. See? Wait, not a pound of cure is worth an ounce of prevention. Wait, well yes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That's the expression, I just had it. This, the meaning was the same, but the verbiage was backwards. It would be very Northern Lion-y to win on this Flint Hook run where I got a, uh, a curse. Not implausible. Oh, dude, we have two keys now. So, what I'm getting at when I, when I bring up that old, uh, quote, Albert Einstein, I think, was the, uh, or Alexander, Mark Twain, I can't, anyway, the point is, um, long shot, it's a range upgrade. To some extent, at least. Sorry, I'll, I'll let the lasers finish and then I'll start talking. Um, now, what I was getting at there... Ooh, careful, buddy. It's me again. <laughs> Weird Canadian Matthew McConaughey from the Shaw Cable commercials in British Columbia. I don't have a Screen Actors Guild card because they kicked me out years ago, buddy. <laughs> okay. Save the frost globe, save the world here. We're back to full HP, did you notice that? You should have, I slaved over a, a hot flint hook all day to bring you this HP upgrade. Okay, take a, I was told on Twitter, what do you do when you see that guy? You take a sip of the potion, hit the slow-mo motion, and then you drop right on top of him for no reason. That's gonna hurt. Nice try. Not that bad, not that bad. Dude, the, fart off. Get out of here, you stinky ghost. I don't care what your problem is, okay? You're a bad boy and you deserve to be busted. In a ghost way, okay? Not in a gross way. No secret room. This is what I spent the key on. As far as I'm concerned, there should be an, an 
option in the menu that's like, what do keys give you? And I would uncheck gold so fast. Keys should only give you apples. It's an unwritten rule of game design. No keys left. Wait, one key left. Shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. Gonna do it. You know why? Because this is the day we ascend. This is the day when I say I'm tired of this game pushing me around. All the girls around the world, come on! Celebrate. We broke even on that room for the first time ever. Pretty soon we'll actually be gaining resources in exchange for our time. Oh, it's a spike. There's a spike in the middle. See, you can be forgiven thinking that we live in a benevolent universe where they would give you like a little safe zone halfway through the level, as every game designer in history has ever done, but. That's my bad, honestly. Is. What was I thinking? You are a jerk. I throw a bomb at you and you disappear. Okay, you take another sip of the potion. Hit the slow motion. Look, we got back to full. We had HP, we lost HP. Life goes on, dude. Life goes flipping on. I think I concern myself. The fact that we're only going to be at 110 out of 180 HP? Well, I do. It keeps me up at night. It's embarrassing. I'm a grown man and this progress in this video game has got me waking up in a cold sweat. Oh, did I leave a treasure chest behind in Flint Hook? And that's why we've got to succeed. There is no substitute for success on today's episode of Flint Hook. I promise you this. And if the fire alarm goes off, then as Usher said on his 2004 album, let it burn. And then in parentheses, baby. It's me. <laughs> I'm also a big fan of Usher's 2004 album, Let It Burn, Baby. It had Yeah, which is a good song. I like to listen to it three times in a row, and it's Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Uh, no Haunted Chamber. Brute Force, Trejarium, Heavy and Slow. Look, Hustle and Flow, starring Terrence Howard, a movie for which he won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 2005. Why not? It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp, best original song. But Heavy and Slow? What is that, some kind of direct to Blu-ray sequel I'm not familiar with? I don't like, no. We don't do that room, sorry. No amount of treasure. Here's the thing, I would do that room if I thought there was a bushel of apples in it. There's never a bushel of apples. You think it's a bushel, you know what you get? A core. Oh, yeah, just drop right into the fire there. That's no problem. You cannot hit me from here. You gotta go, though. It's actually a very easy room. I never should have been hit, but two apples. Two banger, two banger, single banger. You know what? I can live with it. We got gold. We can use that gold. We can leverage that gold. He's done it. I saw the Matrix. I couldn't articulate to you how that room should go, but in my head, I saw the order of operations. You know what? Three little gold bricks on the ground? Increasing our net worth by, like, less than 1%. Who cares? Get out of here. With that late-stage capitalism. Granddad bought a house by returning a bunch of old soda bottles to the grocery store. Now I gotta go raid pirate ships with a freaking grappling hook just to get enough apples to keep myself alive. That's what it's like to be a millennial in today's economy. That was sweet, though. I think I chose the right place to go. Give me a key. He's done it. Not bad. And a fighting bell. I think our dream right now is to turn this fighting bell into even more uh, HP. By using it to not get hit. I know, it's a novel concept. Look at that, look at that. 
Whoever on Twitter suggested I take a sip of the potion and hit the three-wheel motion, which is actually the slow-mo motion. Dude, I gotta be honest with you. You were 100% right. I don't know why I didn't think of that, and in those exact words. Because all of a sudden, this run has swung. And previously, we might have been an HE double hockey sticks. Now we're just in heck. If we keep playing our cards right, pretty soon we might just be in that bad place that's not heaven, you know? And then after that, who knows? You know, the world's our oyster. I don't want to do this room, but I'm gonna. Because sometimes, success requires doing things you don't want to do. Now, I've already taken a hit. You think Steve Jobs wanted to fire all those factory workers on route to being a billionaire? Probably not, but he sucked it up and ruined a few lives, and that's why we all got iPhones today, okay? Respect the process. This this boss fight is horrible. I'm probably going to get hit infinity times. Stop this. Stop what you're doing. Okay, every th we're, we're back in HE double hockey sticks. We're going to get a little love out of this. It was really the ideal choice for us until things went terribly, terribly wrong. But you know what we need is just to make sure that we go to a place that has, uh, that has uh, a potion or some tonic or like a lot of HP on the ground. We've also got a lot of black market fuel here. Three out of five. I'm for that. Don't talk to me about the Myrmidon Galaxy. I'm living in my own freaking Tatami Galaxy right now, just trying to figure out how to get myself out of this bucket of syrup. I figured we'd go for the one with the least amount of nasty words in front of it, and it seems like that's worked out. All right, boys, let's go. Boys and girls. Equal opportunity to riff on the Dinkster here. This is what we wanted to see. Tick-tock. Pirate's Grit. It's a little bit more HP. Oh, become invincible for a few seconds after taking damage. We've done it. Everything that we've requested exists in this game. Um, you know what? We should buy the potion right now. We, it's possible that we might not need it, but if we need it, we should never backtrack. That's another aspect of the roguelite hangover I've been talking about. Backtracking is not as appropriate in Flinthook as it is in other roguelites, and the reason for that is basically that backtracking is extremely dangerous. He's done it. Don't come over here. It's the only one I got! Dude, these ghosts. Why? Why ghosts? I didn't shoot any ghost barrels. Why are there ghosts here? You're telling me. I, I'm raiding a pirate ship right now. Is that correct? Am I correct here? Why would there be a pirate ship? Okay, that's my bad. Why would there be a pirate ship full of ghosts? You're telling me that, you know, Billy Poop Swabber is over here and he's like, what pirate ship should I take? Should I buy a new, uh... You know, Honda or something like that? Nah, just give me the spooky one that's full of all the weird purple ghosts. Oh, uh, boss, aren't you worried about the ghosts hitting us? No, you idiot! We're the bad guys! Ghosts can't hurt us! Even if they could, it's a small price to pay to keep out Mr. Flinthook, who does come over here and then murder all of us. Or at least as many as it takes to feed his crippling apple addiction. We gotta be up high on this one. 130% should have taken damage right there, but look at that. We're, we're back in the saddle. Two apples. These guys were holding out on me. Don't want to do this room. You know why? Just treasure. Who cares, dude? But, NL, I thought you said that part about Steve Jobs. You know what? First off, nice Marge Simpson impression, alright? But dude, I got the iframes now. I got invincibility. I got the combination iframes and invincibility. 
doesn't really work. Are you the last known survivor who stalks his prey in the night? Because if so, we're about to beat this without taking any damage. And, um, I mean, you know what we're doing it all for. It's the Eye of the Tiger, of course. Look at that, 148. That means we're going to be at 158 when we finish, which is right now. Again, it might seem like I'm rushing. I really think that I've been playing Flint Hook wrong. I've been playing by a set of rules that belong to a different league. You can't be doing that no pass interference stuff in the XFL. You know, you can't be worried about goaltending if you're on Spike TV playing Slam Ball. I'm feeling more well-equipped to do okay than I have ever been before. This is our last one. We got a lot of money. If you got a lot of money, why don't we go for the one with the gamblinger? You know why? Because that's what they want you to do. Instead, lock down low gravity. I don't know what lockdown means. Maybe you can't leave any room until you've killed all the enemies. That's what I mean when I say I've been playing by the wrong set of rules. I've already been adhering to that, even though it's idiotic. We really should be... You know, leaving rooms as soon as possible. Okay, so I mean, I understand the low gravity part. You can fall faster by just believing in yourself, huh? What have I done? I've hurt myself today to see if I still hook. I focus on the pain. And all the ghosts I've cooked. That's not a very good joke. I was really... I was hoping that the usual would happen, which is... Somehow I would bail myself out of a bad joke by... Just having a weird stroke of inspiration midway through, but it did not happen this time. I hate it. Well, we did get a key. Hopefully that'll prove to pay dividends. I'm really ho- You- oh, I just walked into the room! And then we gotta do a challenge room. For the privilege to get like what- Oh, okay, I was standing a platform above it, but you know what? That's on me. That's my bad. In real life explosions happen. You know what? The same real life. In real life, there's no low gravity flint hook action taking place. So don't even start with me. There is 50 HP, if I remember correctly. What I mean by that is there's 50 HP just before the boss fight. Oh my lanta. All we need to do. is grab all of it. Which shouldn't be hard, honestly, but... As of right now, I'm not 100% confident in our ability to do that. Just no ghosts is like... It's not all I ask, but it's one of the few things I ask, is like, no ghosts or like, less ghosts. But maybe we're already living in less ghost world, and that's what scares me, dude. Maybe this is already a low amount of ghostage. I swear. First off, that was the best thing I've ever done in Flint Hook. Secondly, some of these enemies, you can't dodge. Oh, that's right, he touched me for a quarter of a fraction of a freaking... Bumblebee's wink, so take some damage there. At least I got the invincibility at the end. You know what? It's low grav. This is our time to shine. Look at that. That was beautiful. Including that final little Chef's kiss jump there. Nothing wrong with that, baby. Get out of here, you 
stinky ghosts, I don't care about your stupid problems. They're irrelevant to me. I'm a terrestrial and corporeal being who tried to press the S key to drop through that platform, but was inappropriately rebuked by the physics engine. I'm not blaming that for the damage. I'm just describing the situation as I see it and letting the audience decide based on an incomplete amount of information. Still, getting 50 HP back is actually a ton. Thanks for the map, sucker. Um, yeah, getting 50 HP back just before the boss fight is a ton because oh just crush him just crush him just crush him all oh, these oh there's too many I thought there was one that was naive of me in hindsight what the barrel the barrel blocked my progress look shouldn't have been hit twice we got two apples though let's go this is our moment so we're, we should be at 168 HP. We should be at 178 HP. I don't think that gives us a 100% chance to beat this boss, but I do think it gives us the best chance we've ever had. It would have been dope to buy something, and you know what? Now that I look at this, I see that there was a key room that led to a shop of some sort. We probably could have bought a lot of stuff. We probably could have bought everything in that shop. So that's my own... Uh, short-sightedness that has led us to not get that, but in the end, this is how it should be. It's a mono -a mono battle between me and the boss. Everything is on the line for me. I'm all in on this. And by that, I mean, well, if I lose, I'll just be back tomorrow to reclaim, you know, what is rightfully mine. But if I win, oh boy. Oh boy. The places I'll go. So there's our 10 HP. And then... Let's go, there's our remaining 40. It's basically full HP. Yeah, I know Baron Von freaking Gorgatron. I know your moves. That's what you might think, this is the first time I've ever fought him. You don't understand, this is a Tom Cruise situation, buddy. Great co-star from the 2008 film Tropic Thunder. I don't know what this voice became, but this is not Matthew McConaughey. It's just a generic southern drawl, buddy. So you just hang out up here. Hit the... Take a sip of the potion. If necessary, you could even hit the three-wheel motion. No, you got this. Look, you've done it. Okay, bad, bad damage, bad damage. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. But as long as we, we can make him pay more than he makes us pay, we could win. Oh, this is free play. Free play! Like the Jake Giles band, freeze frame. Now this is heck. Did you like that? Because that was good. Okay, now that's cruel. Whoa, whoa, we tricked him! I actually got so stunned that, like, my finger came off the mouse for a second there. I was like, I've done it. Dude, the extra invincibility from this is going to save my soul like that one Jan Arden song. It might be Sarah McLaughlin. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Shouldn't have taken that extra damage. I didn't think we were gonna, to be honest with you. He's done it. Probably should have taken damage there, but I didn't. Please. No, I don't like that. That was bad. Okay, so it's like a dirty trick. We're much more than half dead. He, on the other hand, is only half dead. You see where this presents a problem for me. Okay, you need to like... 
worry about survival. That's that fall is crushing me, dude. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Okay, he's in a bad place. Now he has become the true Baron von Gorgatron. I've never seen this before. See, that's tough to dodge, dude. We can get hit twice. He shoots his shot speed is out of control. He must have some sort of Isaac upgrade. Five more hits. Baron von Gurex is now available in the black. He's done it! He's done it! Why would you ever do that? You could fall in the fire, you idiot! How do I how do I get out of here? It's on the right side apparently. Do not fall. Yeah, but where? Oh, that's the ticket. <laughs> what are you doing here, you stinky wizard? Get out of here. Okay. Well, he's done it or something. It's been a while since I've seen this screen. I actually forgot that it existed. Thank you. Who's this Joker? Guarlock? This is new. Guarlock's my dad. I got a question about the paternity of this situation, to be honest with you. Alright, I mean, I don't really understand what's going on, but that's okay because I finally beat this dude and I did it with less than one full hit of HP remaining. So, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. And look at that. Oh, the boosters. Oh, the packs. Oh my god. Next episode, there's gonna be an incredible serotonin release. And I did do it with the curse. Alright, and our highest combo was 69. Even better. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.